At one of New Delhi's oldest hospitals, in the only designated polio ward in all of India, patients like Abida Khatun have only one goal. I can stand and walk. I just need a little help, and soon I won't need that as well. Soon I'll be able to walk on my own. It took two months of surgery and rehabilitation at St. Stephen's Hospital for Khatun to achieve her lifelong dream of being able to walk. She and other young women in this eight-bed ward credit Dr. Matthew Varghese, an orthopedic surgeon who has devoted his entire career to restoring mobility and dignity to those left crippled by the polio virus that invades the brain and spinal cord, causing paralysis. Because all these girls have been crawling, except for this one, all the others have been crawling. The other muscles are very weak. They've never had the opportunity to stand on their two feet. For the first time in their lives, like this girl who's paralyzed at six months, she's never been able to stand on her two feet. As India gets closer to officially being declared polio-free, the effect of the massive immunization effort can be seen in the hospital, with Dr. Varghese now mostly treating people in their early 20s as opposed to young children some two decades ago. In 1990, New Delhi alone saw 3,000 new polio cases. Now that number is zero. The trend is reflected here at this polio ward, where at its peak it saw 600 patients annually. Now that number is down to less than 200. Rotary International has been on the front line of India's polio eradication efforts and helps fund reconstructive surgeries at St. Stephen's. Former Rotary President Rajendra Sabu saw the need to give polio patients a second chance at a normal life during a trip to a village in the northern Indian state of Uttar Pradesh. Then another child came, also crawling. And uh, uh, I said, what is happening to these children? They seem to have been struck by polio. And uh, uh, the villagers there said, no, 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 just forget them. They are dust. But Rotary and Dr. Varghese did not forget them. Patients hear about the ward and travel to New Delhi from across India in hopes of correcting bent legs and feet. No one is turned away. After weeks in the hospital, 19-year-old Abida Khartoun is getting ready to go home to her village in Uttar Pradesh. If I had only met Dr. Varghese earlier, I wouldn't have had as much hardship in my life. My hands wouldn't be so calloused. Because of him, I'm doing better. Khartoun is not the only one brought to tears. When asked what this surgeon's dream is, the answer was simple. My dream, this far should be empty. No polio. Arupande, VOA News, New Delhi.